deserve all of it. Everything. You deserve this. Ah, I thought we were done with Megan Rapinoe after the disastrous hiring of her by Victoria's Secret, which uh, was a financial disaster so bad that they went back to actually attractive women as quickly as they could after she hilariously got injured in her final game uh, in the U.S. women's national team. Uh, I thought we were done with her. But no, now she's going out and uh, criticizing Christians because that's what the woke do. Their religion is wokeism and they attack Christianity because they can. None of these woke idiots would ever say anything about some of those other religions out there, by the way, which would uh, you know, probably not treat Megan Rapinoe very well. Um, but they, it's okay to, make, to, to disparage Christianity. She also had a complete meltdown uh, saying her haters have a special place in hell. Well, wait a minute. I thought God didn't exist. How would hell exist then? That and more. Here we go. Let's start with her recent meltdown. Megan Rapinoe says the narcissist mocks, or oh, the narcissist mocks Christians again while saying her haters have a special place in hell. Megan Rapinoe may be one of the greatest American soccer players to ever do it. She isn't. And also one of the most controversial and unlikable professional athletes in the world. I'd agree with that. Well, most people focus on the drama and negativity surrounding others. So when Rapinoe went down with a career-ending Achilles injury in November, well, those same people weren't exactly sad to see it happen. I was not happy. I was, I was not sad at all. I thought it was karmic. Um, and I thought it was interesting uh, that when she did get injured, she, her immediate reaction afterwards was to disparage God. It's harsh that people would be happy to see Rapino end her career with an injury, but the harshness doesn't make it any less true. Some soccer fans had a smile on their face when she went down with an injury. If you don't believe that, you're not living a reality or don't spend much time on social media. Rapino believes those people have a special place in hell. We want these perfect stories. I'm a controversial figure and having people low key celebrate it. No, no, I was high key celebrating it. It couldn't have happened to a bigger piece of garbage on the planet. But then also be so disingenuous about it. That's the part of funny too. I'm like, wow, you guys are in a special place in hell that you're celebrating this. Rapino said on Pablo Tori finds out sitting along her fiance Sue Bird. Tori then brought up Rapinoe's press conference following the game in which she was injured and she said, I'm not a religious person or anything, and if there was a God, this is proof that there isn't. Could you imagine being so self-centered, so um, uh, like amazingly, ridiculously over-the-top obsessed with yourself that you think, oh, yeah, um, this injury, you know, God would have God would have protected me from playing a child's game, getting hurt. That's what God would have concerned themselves with. Tori, who spent years working for ESPN before joining John Levitard on his crew of woke misfits at Meadowlark Media, claimed that anyone who was upset that Rapino said there was no God was just disingenuously furious. Um, I think that most people would find that statement relatively blasphemous. You know, I've always been on the record and say, like, I'm not a very religious guy, but I respect and understand my viewers that are um, and people that are. And I'm pretty sure, like, being a multimillionaire, being worth $50 million and having a tiny injury and then using that tiny injury to proclaim that there is no God, I think that's probably a little offensive. I feel like maybe if there is a God, you're going to get to the pearly gates and, and, and there you're going to sit and God's going to be like, oh, remember when you said I wasn't here? Oops, sorry, you get on the down escalator. In Rapinoe's mind, it's funny to joke about there not being a God and Christians just missed it during a press conference. It's a more classic narcissism from Rapinoe. For starters, 
The number of people who genuinely celebrated her in injury is minuscule. I don't know. I hope it was bigger than that. We forget that more often than not, the vast majority of people do actually have a functioning heart and soul and don't like seeing bad things happen. Any athlete ending their career with an injury is a bad thing. I disagree completely, and I think a lot of people celebrated who wrote this article. I think you're wrong, bro. Mark Harris, you're wrong. I I know for a fact a lot of people celebrated her being injured, and I, I will openly admit that I did too, and I love it. If she could have blown out both, if she could have blown out both Achilles, it would have that's the only way it would have been better. I, I, I don't, what do you mean nobody celebrated? On the other end of the spectrum, Rapino is very clearly continuing to live in a world where she doesn't realize that words have consequences and meaning. She sat in front of a microphone and said that God didn't exist. It doesn't matter that it was a lighthearted comment. She portrayed the message and shared it with her fan base of hundreds of thousands of people, mostly made up of young girls. She then doubled down with a joke about checking in on Christians during her appearance on Tori's show. We get it, Megan. You're gay. You don't see eye to eye with Christians or believe in the whole church thing. But when you continue to prod at the hundreds of millions of Americans who are Christian, you're opening the door for backlash. She'd say that she could handle the criticisms, but then cried while mentioning it during Tori's show in the most favorable setting imaginable. Rapino doesn't see anything wrong with what she's saying because her everyday environment has long been all about her. She surrounded herself with yes men, women, and surely a few pronoun pushers, and everything she says and does fits into some disruptive liberal puzzle out there. She lives in this weird utopia where the ESPNs of the world promote everything she touches when in reality a large chunk of Americans don't agree with the majority of the things she says or stands for. Rapinoe's narcissistic tendencies are undeniable at this point. She even managed to show them off during her sit-down with Tori without mocking people of faith at the same time. At one point during the interview, she explained that her missed penalty that would have sent the U.S. women's national team home from the 2023 Women's World Cup doesn't take anything away from her career. She failed to mention how she missed the, pen the missed penalty affected the careers of every single woman that was her teammate, who may never be in the same position ever again. The U.S. women's national team's coach was essentially forced to resign after the team's exit from the tournament. That penalty may have just been one kick of many, but it carried a lot of weight. Rapinoe failed to comprehend that any of that in the moment when she smiled and laughed of after missing the penalty, and it's clear she hasn't come to that realization yet. Well, also remember that Megan Rapinoe did not deserve a position on that team. She was well past her prime. There were more skilled players on the team than her, and she was given the penalty kick out of a courtesy, essentially, a woke courtesy uh, for that. And so, you know, it was about, you know, her coach said, well, we got to put the purple haired lesbian out there to make the kick, right? She's going to kick it. She's going to make the kick. Didn't make it. Missed by a mile and then laughed about it. Um, I understand frustration comes out in weird ways. Um, but when I've seen like an NFL kicker miss a game winning field goal, I never see them laugh. Have you ever seen them laugh? You know, Green Bay Packers kickers, Anders Carlson, missed plenty of uh, chip shot field goals this year. Not sure I saw him laugh after any of them. Uh, but Megan Rapinoe, who already had, you know, bullied her way into a Subway Sandwiches sponsorship and a Victoria's Secret sponsorship and all this stuff, she didn't need to make that kick. That kick was not important to her. It was important to the dozen other players on that team who don't have those things. But Megan Rapinoe doesn't care about that kind of stuff. In fact, remember, she went out and said, I deserve this. I deserve this. She led the team in kneeling during the national anthem. She is a garbage human being. If you look at the replies, which got brutally ratio, didn't she say her injury was proof that there was no God or some such nonsense? Wait, she believes in hell? I mean, she's getting... <laughs> That's funny because in LGBT, that's exactly where he, she, they are going. I mean, everybody in here is absolutely crushing her. The fans weren't celebrating anything. Come on, New York Post. I was hoping we could ignore her. She had a career. Well, Megan, God works in mysterious ways. I mean, it's just so great. I love everything about it.
I can't wait for her to continue to disappear off the radar.